So as some of you may know, I'm here in the mountains for a couple of days, uh, just getting away from the noise. One of the huge perks as well is I'm, I'm having the, the time to create a lot more content for you guys. Now, what I want to talk about today is really the biggest time waster that I see when it comes to client outreach and when it comes to client sales and really the golden rules of sales of signing clients uh, for your agency. And that is your job is not to turn a no into a yes. Your job is to turn a maybe into a hell yes. Now, let me actually explain what I mean by this. I see a lot of agency owners, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs even, when they're just starting out in SMA or any business in general, they think they can turn a, a, a no, a person that hasn't shown any interest on their service, on their product into a yes. What I can tell you is that it's a very expensive decision, not, not only just in terms of money, uh, but in terms of time and resources. The reason why I say that is because in any sale, what you have to, you know, what you have to imagine is that there's two hurdles. Hurdle number one is, is your prospect interested in the service? Is your prospect even interested in what you have to offer? And so that is hurdle number one. And that is really the first thing that you should ask yourself when you're approaching a prospect. Hurdle number two is, are you the best fit? Are you the best, uh, are you the best agency? Or are you the best product in that specific market that your prospect is already interested in? And so for example, what I see a lot of people do is they really focus their time and attention on the on the people that are not even over the first hurdle. They haven't even considered the product, or even worse, they don't even like the product in the first place. They don't even think they need the product in the first place. And so they spend all this time and energy trying to get people to jump over the first hurdle when they could literally just cut all that, you know, all that time and, and energy invested into those prospects and just go straight for the people that already see the value in your service and your product that are already over hurdle number one and really just show them that you're the best agency, you're the best brand out there for that specific product. And you might be thinking, but why should I not just, you know, try to get people to jump over hurdle number one? Surely it should be of similar difficulty as trying to get people to, to believe in me and jump over hurdle two. And what I will say about that is just, is completely not true. With hurdle number one, you have to realize that there's a lot of ingrained beliefs, there's a lot of ingrained, you know, limiting beliefs, uh, ethics, values, um, you know, core principles that have be, that, that are in place, that have been put in place for a number of years that have led to the prospect or that, you know, company to think in that way. And so it's gonna take you a lot of time to change those, those core, uh, you know, ingrained beliefs in you know, a month, two months, uh, three months, right? And so you're gonna waste a, a lot of energy, a lot of time. You're gonna get a lot of rejection, which is even which I'm not saying is bad, right? But you're gonna get a lot of, uh, you're gonna be constantly, you know, going against this this block, right? Uh, you're gonna be constantly uh, hitting this block, and you're gonna make very little dents. I'm not saying it's not possible. In fact, when I started, you know, I didn't know about this. I, I didn't know about this principle, and I focused a lot of time and energy into people that hadn't jumped over the first hurdle. And I certainly, you know, I, I certainly signed up a, a few of those clients, but First of all, it took me a ton of time, but and second of all, it was almost like degrading my value because I was trying to convince them, in the, I was trying to convince them of this service of, of you know the, the the huge potential of Facebook ads or you know or, or paid ads for an e-commerce website. But not only did I waste a bunch of time, but if they if they did sign on, I would even see those limiting beliefs um, carry on in many ways, right? Slowing them down or, or even making them hesitant to scale things up, um, and so. It's just a very, very tricky situation. And it's something that I don't recommend you guys do, especially if you're just starting out. If you get this right, you're literally gonna cut out so much wasted time. Not only that though, you're gonna sprint past those agency owners who just focus on those prospects that haven't even seen the, the value in the service that they provide in the first place. And the third advantage is gonna be the fact that you're gonna be working with clients who already see the value in your service, who are already bought into your service. You don't have to convince them of anything. It gives you much better status because you're not trying to validate your service to them. You're, you're going up to them, conveying your value and telling them, hey, I'm the best person to go with if you're interested in the service and if you want to take your, your Facebook ads, your Google ads, SEO ad to the next level. So guys, just to recap, don't try to sell the unsellable. Focus on the people that are already seeing this, the value in your service, that are already willing to move forward with it and convey that you're the best option to go with. Focus on hurdle number two. Don't don't waste your time on hurdle one, Could, trying to convince people and trying to convince prospects that your service is worthwhile and that can that it can impact their business. I'm not saying don't convey the value of your service. I'm not saying don't speak uh, wonders about your service to prospects. You know, obviously it's a lot more nuanced than that. There might be prospects who have heard of Facebook ads who just, or, or your service, who deep down they know they need your service, but they may not 
have the necessary information to take that step forward. And so in that case, you then have to make the value of your service very clear to them. But once you've done that, if there's still a lot of resistance, not because of you, but because of the service, then just move on to a hurdle number two uh, kind of prospect. So yeah, guys, I hope that was a value. I'm going to wrap it up uh, here and get back to uh, work. It's an early, beautiful morning here in the countryside. Um, I've, I've really been enjoying my time here. Uh, really just, you know, provided me so much time to, to think. I uh, gave me a lot of clarity, uh, allowed me the time to put a, a ton of content together for you guys. I was just going to be coming out in the next few days. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do so right now. I'm putting out a ton of content on sales outreach, um, but also a 360 approach to SMA, team communication, scaling secrets, etc., etc. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. It helps a lot of with the algorithm. Leave down below any questions, any comments you may have. So check out the link in bio. That is a link to my free Facebook community. And lastly, guys, if you want to see some behind the scenes from getting up to uh, here in the countryside, uh, what my day looks like, and just really just a behind the scenes look into my day as an entrepreneur, uh, my sales goals, my, my revenue generating activities, etc. etc. If you want to see that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That is my username. So I'm going to get back to work. Hope everything's going well in your agency journey. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.